Absolute fucking disaster. Absolute disaster. Arsenal 2, Fulham 2 and big, big points dropped at home. Big fucking points, you know. Big, big points. Times like this, I feel like I needed to never, ever stop smoking the weed because I need something to calm my nerves down. I'm on an e-cig and it's not good enough. I'm telling you, just like Arsenal's performance, not good enough. But look, I ain't going to sugarcoat absolutely anything, yeah? If you're serious about winning the league and you're serious about challenging for that title, you cannot be dropping fucking points at home to Fulham. You get me? In the opening first minute of the game, just like Southampton last season, we gift, gift them a goal. We invite them to sit back and make it hard and ugly for us. Yeah, come on, Arsenal. Break us down. You get me? Let's see what you're made of. That's what we give them today. And you know what? Credit to Fulham. They made it fucking nasty for us. Yeah? And this back three, it isn't working. The performances that we've seen at the start of this season, within the three games, with a back three, Thomas Partey inverting from right back, it is not working. We look a shadow of ourselves from last season. You get me? And really, we should be stronger. We should be stronger because, yeah, fair enough, Timber's injured and he was a big loss to the squad. But we got the exact same 11 as last season, apart from Shaka replacing him with Declan Rice. And that should ultimately make us stronger because, in my opinion, Rice is a much better player than Shaka. So why are the performances dropping like this? Why can't we break teams down from the get-go? One thing last season, we were scoring goals early. You get me? We're killing games off early. Yeah. Now, we just about get back into the game, take the lead, let them go down to 10 men, and we're letting them put pressure on us. It's a fucking joke thing, man. You get me? It's an absolute joke thing, and I'm fuming. I need a draw. I need a draw. And see this habits thing, yeah? Arteta looks to be facilitating this guy into the team. And I'm not with it one bit. I'm not with it, you get me? Put Gabriel back into the starting lineup. Go with a back four, you get me? The great fucking teams are built off its defence, you get me? Championships are won off a solid defence. Revert back to type is not working. Sit your signing on the bench. I don't care if you paid 65 million for him. Sit him on the bench, he ain't good enough. Fabio Vieira came on, yeah, and within a quarter of the time, looked so much more of a better player. He was so impactful on that game. And you know what? Credit to Vieira, my man of the match for the Arsenal side today because he's, he's held a lot of flack from me, from a lot of fans, but he came on and he was the one who made a difference. Anything good that came from us came from him. You get me? Before that, we were having to shoot outside the box. We were creating a couple chances, but nothing clear cut. He won us a penalty. He assisted for, for Eddie Nketiah. He also assisted for the sending off as well. That ball that he sent over to Nketiah, dangerous looking ball. It, it made the defender bamboozled and he had to fucking commit a foul and get a second yellow. So Fabio Vieira, yeah, big up to you. But it's just a joke, man. When we did go to our back four, we looked it so much better. We looked it so much better. And I ain't trying to sit here and sugarcoat anything. I said at the start of the season, it's going to be harder for us this season than it was last season. Teams are going to be able to evaluate Arsenal and assess the way we play and so on. Yeah, Arteta might be trying to change things up so we don't look predictable. But why not in pre-season? Why did we not see these tactics getting deployed in pre-season? Yeah, why are we only seeing it at the start of this campaign? I don't get it. You get me? We better do something thick and fast. If we want any serious challenge in the fucking Champions League or this Premier League, we need to fix it real quick. Absolutely, mate. I'm telling you now, yeah. <laughs> it's, if you don't laugh, you go cry, man. I'm telling you. But people, smash a like on this video if you want to. Subscribe if you're new. Peace and love, and we'll see you on the next one. Disgraceful.